Welcome. A question that you may be asking yourself is when should I give up on my orchid? I'm going to give you tips to help you know and to help you decide. And of course, every situation is different. So take your own personal circumstances and your orchid circumstances into account and then you can make the decision. But I'll give you five guidelines that you can start with. The first guideline is, are there any living roots? If your orchid does not have any roots at all, if they've all rotted, then it might be time. So just one little caveat is there is a way that you can make some false roots and see if that helps. So what you can do is you can get some yarn or some pipe cleaners and you can kind of thread them um, from the crown of the orchid. So this is the crown right here. So if this orchid didn't have any roots, then I would thread this yarn from a little dish of water and then I would balance the orchid on top so that the orchid was not in the water at all, right? But then these pieces of yarn were down into the water and then they would act as roots. That works sometimes. I've heard of situations where it works and I've heard of situations where it doesn't, but it's at least worth a try, right? But if you don't have any roots, don't feel bad about starting over. The second situation can be crown rot. And crown rot is a bacterial infection and it's caused when there's water or to accumulate down here in between the stem here and the, where the leaves attach, that can cause crown rot and it turns like a light brown color and then it can get darker and darker until it's black and then the leaves kind of fall off the orchid and it can even have a smell sometimes. So if that happens, um, don't feel bad about tossing the orchid and saying goodbye. Another situation is a persistent pest infection. And if you catch it early, pests can be easy to get rid of, but if it gets out of control, it might be just worth your time and your money to just start over. Put the orchid in a plastic bag, close it and toss it so that it doesn't spread the pests anywhere. And that goes along with a severe bacterial or fungal infection. Any of that, if it gets away from you and it's really hard to solve it, then no one would blame you if you said enough and tossed the orchid and started over. So pests, diseases, crown rot, and absolutely no roots. Now for the last one, and it goes along with root loss, and that is complete leaf loss. So I have all these aerial roots right here. So if I were to sever this stem right here and make it so that I had another orchid, right? Because I was taking off this main stem right here that has some roots, I could pot it up and I could have another orchid. You should still hang on to the base. I mean, in this situation, I have all of these other offsets that are growing, but if I didn't have any offsets, say like I just had this orchid, it was growing from a single stem and I cut off all of these stems so that I had this leaves and I had the, the aerial roots and I could pot it up and like very good chance that I would have another orchid right here that was potted up. But then I'd be left with this stem, right? that didn't have any leaves or roots. So if you leave it alone and you kind of take it and put it in the shade and you take good care of it, there is a chance that the stem can grow new leaves and it can grow again. Just to be clear that sometimes the stem can grow new leaves, but if it seems to just be sitting there and you've given it time and you have an orchid, doesn't have any leaves, and it's not doing anything, then that's another reason why you should toss it. Okay, so we have five situations where you might want to toss your orchid, say goodbye, start again. You've learned, right? You've learned what not to do. Now you'll have a chance to put into practice the things that you've learned and have a better result. So just to recap what the five signs are when it's time to give up on your orchid, 
And that's when you have no roots, completely rootless orchid. If your orchid has crown rot, is if you have a pest or disease and it's gotten out of hand, that's another situation where you'd want to say goodbye to your orchid. And is if your orchid has experienced complete leaf loss. So those are five situations where it's time to say goodbye and start again. If you found this video helpful, like it, subscribe, share it, and of course you can always get more helpful tips on how to grow your orchids at orchidbliss.com. And there's the Orchid Buds community where you can get personalized help growing orchids.